perfection. A scorched outpost in the middle of nowhere. You know how close I am to leaving this place right now? How close? Maybe that's why Val and Earl decided to leave town. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hold up. That's Edgar Deans. They just picked the wrong day to do it. Jeez. You guys better get the hell out of here. There's a killer on the loose. Be doing it. Is that a snake? I'll give you boys five dollars for this. Twenty. That's how they get you. They're under the ground. What the hell are those things? How could they eat a whole station wagon? But where do they come from? I vote for outer space. No way these are local boys. You see, they're headed right for us. No Richter scale can measure it. They're coming! No scientist can explain it. Bert, they're under the ground! You didn't get penetration even with the alpha gun. Run, run! And no one knows what to call it. Mega worms or suckers or, or suckoids. Now, this valley is just one long smorgasbord. Now, it's up to Val and Earl to save the world. That's one big mother. Who died and made you Einstein? And they know just what to do. Flip for it. Damn. Kevin Bacon. Fred Ward. Tremors. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Shop 31. Uh, I got a little movie review for you lovely folks today. Oh, man. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things after having the baby, you know? This is difficult. Um, trying to help the wife and stuff. Anyhow, I know y'all don't necessarily care about that, um, and I don't want to bore you with details of my very mundane day-to-day. -day. <laughs> Anyhow, we uh, sat down last, uh, last night as a couple... And my wife experienced tremors for the first time. What? And I was like, yo, I got to watch this with you. And then I got to review it. And uh, I'm going to do something fun. So we watched Tremors 1. We didn't watch any of the other sequels. I like all of them, but we only had so much time. So let's talk about Tremors. Uh, such a great movie. At least in my opinion. All right. So, Tremors is a 1990 American horror comedy film. In the film, tired of their dull lives in the small desert town of Perfection, Nevada, repairmen Val McKee and Earl Bassett try to skip town. However, they happen upon a series of mysterious deaths and a concerned seismologist named Rhonda studying unnatural readings below the ground. All right? With the help of an eccentric survivalist couple, Bert and Heather Gummer, the group fights for survival against giant worm-like monsters hungry for human flesh. All right. The movie was directed by Ron Underwood. It stars Kevin Bacon, Fred Ward, Finn Carter, Michael Gross, and Reba McIntyre. Dude, Reba McIntyre. Uh, it was distributed by Universal Pictures and released on January 19, 1990 with 96 minutes in length for this quick movie. A budget of $10 million and brought in $16 million at the box office. So a moderate success, if you'd call it that. Um, I imagine they were hoping for a lot more, but to put in 10 million, get it a 16, they clearly made a bunch of sequels, so they made somebody happy, all right? The movie is a lot of fun. Sorry, I'm about to sneeze, I think. Oh, man. <laughs> Anyways, the movie is a lot of fun, all right? Um, I don't know. I don't even know where to start. The movie's, the movie's, it's silliness. It's, uh, I like big monster movies. They have practical effects. They have good music. The acting was on point. Everything about this movie is, if, if this is the kind of movie that you like, then Tremors is probably the bar. That, that's where the bar's set. Because there's not many American-made monster movies that are better than Tremors that aren't, like, either overly gory or too dark. And this is a good movie to watch even with your kids, kind of, they're, you know, teenagers or something, because it's rated PG-13, there's not a ton of cussing in it, there's no nudity in it, there's a little bit of blood, not a whole lot, most of the gore is, like, from the monster, but the practical effects are awesome, you got fun characters in there, Reba McIntyre does a good job, she's awesome, they got lots of big guns and things, it's a very, very fun movie. Uh, as far as all the technical stuff with the sound, sounded good, I thought it was shot well, uh, 
you know, there's not much to kind of delve into when you're talking about a movie like Tremors on that end of the spectrum. You're more of like, was it good? Was it funny? Was it scary? I wouldn't call it scary, uh, but it was, but it was fun, and it was definitely funny. But this is a good party movie. Like when you got friends over, popcorn horror. You know, you sit down and get a big tub of popcorn, some candy, some drinks, and eat it and have fun, and let your friends let you go talk through because we've, we've all seen it 25 times. My personal opinion is I gave Tremors uh, an 8 out of 10 because I've watched this movie a million times and I'll continue to watch it. I love this movie. I was thinking that they should make a... Uh, is it Bill Skarsgård? Uh, a remake of this. Or like maybe... Like not, not, even a re not even a remake. Like a like a 30 years... Because this came out in 1990, right? It's 2020. So do like a 30 years later thing. Tremors. Not a remake. A, an actual sequel, but have... Bill Skarsgård, I think it's Bill Skarsgård, and, uh, um, oh, goodness, Punisher, oh, my goodness gracious, what is this man's name? Bernthal, John Bernthal, uh, have Bernthal and Skarsgård play the roles of, uh, maybe, like, the kids of Fred Ward and Kevin Bacon, I don't know, I think that'd be pretty rad, but, um, yeah, have you seen Tremors? What do you think? Is it something that you like? Do you not like these kind of movies? So this is definitely a, a this is an acquired taste type of horror movie. But if you have that acquired taste, this wonderful steel book came with a digital code for all six of the Tremors movies. I'm going to give that away. You know the rules. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you like the video, and then comment on the video, what's your favorite monster movie? And I'll enter you into the contest, and in two weeks I'll come back, and I will announce a winner. And it's free of charge, like always. Um, but yeah, uh, so Trimmers. Yeah, Go Trimmers is awesome. Go watch it if you haven't seen it yet. I don't know why. If you're a fan of this channel and horror movies in general, then uh, I definitely say this is a movie that you should check out. Um, news and notes real quick before everybody go. Uh, First, welcome to everybody that's just subscribed. We have a lot of new subscribers, and I very much appreciate it. it uh, it's amazing. I, I sincerely appreciate it. Uh, I applied for another YouTube channel. I'm going to keep it wraps who I applied to, but I don't know. See what happens. I would really like to hear from them one of these days. I say applied to. I sent an email with a little breakdown of who I am, what I'm about, with a link to my content, and tell them what I do. But, yeah, and I'm going to interview... Uh, Josh Rubin tomorrow of Scare Me fame on Shudder. The movie was really fun, and he's been kind enough to stop talking to me for a few minutes, so we have that to look forward to. So, this should be coming up, this video should be up on YouTube on Monday, uh, the 12th, and so on the 13th, Tuesday, I will be doing a video with Mr. Rubin. So, I'm pretty excited about that. But, uh, please, please, please subscribe to the channel if you like what you saw. It helps me bring more content to you. Help me get to the algorithm. Comment on the videos. Tell me what you think. And tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. All that good stuff. If you need me on social media, Patreon, any of those things, uh, all that information is down below in the description. And we are doing a movie rental service now through Patreon for anybody that's local down here in Houston. So um, thanks again, everybody. I appreciate it. This is Shop31. I'm Randall. And you guys are my favorite. See you next time, folks. Peace.